What's going on, everybody? Mail day, mail week, lots of stuff in. Wildcat, I think there's only one football card in this whole stack. I can at least think of one, but I think that might be the only one. All this stuff pretty much came off of Zooms uh, over the past week, week and a half, I would say. There's even a boxing autograph in here. It's not Mike Tyson. All right, so starting up first. Some of this stuff will either go to Com C, maybe to DC Sports for consignment. Otherwise, I might just hold it to the uh, Midwest Monster this summer. I'm not too sure yet. But Cal Ripken Auto, Prime Cuts from, I think this was 2000. I can't even see it on here. I'm going to put it on the screen so I can see it. 2008. Just got in from a card show and had to pick mail up. So they were out there, uh, what do you call it? Not cutting grass, but they're. Laying like fertilizer and stuff in the ground, so my allergies are going nuts. Alrighty, up next, another Ripken Auto PSA 9 Finest Aqua Refractor. Let me pull it back some here so you guys can see. There we go. This one, I'm not too sure. I, again, it might, I don't know what I'll do with some of this stuff. Um, if somebody's interested in something, just always hit me up because I'll tell you if I still have it or not. I know more vintage guys. 65 tops Clemente PSA 4. 4 mostly because of the centering. I'm going to get the focus back here. Or not. There we go. So, pretty cool piece. Another vintage. A little bit different, though. Right, now I feel more comfortable. I'd put my hand underneath this new camera. This is a Beckick certified autograph of Dave Winfield on his rookie card. This stuff here is starting to get catch on. And so the old TTM guy, or we threw the mail. Yeah, TTM guys. Maybe you got some of these rookie autos right now. They're in good shape. You got them graded. You can make some bank on that stuff. They're pretty cool, Dave Winfield. Another Mickey Mantle All Star PSA 4. You guys will see, I just picked one up at a show today. I think I paid a hundred. Twenty dollars for it, pretty much in the same condition as this. I think that's on his uh, sleeve. Let me look. <laughs> now it kind of has me worried. I'm not gonna replace sleeves. I get now it's stuck. Well, I get my hand underneath the camera. I got just some glue up on top here. I gotta pull it off. All right, let me throw this in the garbage. We'll keep going. Up next, I think it's the only football. Chris Olave, PSA 10, Optic Contenders rookie. This was not mine, but I did pick one up again. Jeter, Boyle, 6, probably DC bound along with Olave. Clemente, 71 tops. I actually have this card in an 8. Um, this will probably just go DC. I just, I'm not really a big fan of uh, the 71 tots because every little blemish you could always see on these. So thankfully, a long time ago, I bought an 8. A little raw Antonio Gates auto. Philip Rivers NT auto. Oh, I forgot about these. These are definitely DC bound. Two Justin Fields, 10 rookies. This is cool here. Um, for you hockey guys, Gretzky Stadium Club first day issue. Now this here can be on the left or right. I think the left was the more rare, if I remember right. So pretty cool piece to get a nine. Um, this was just recently graded too, I'd say within the last year. So lucky to pick that up. Kay Cunningham, silver pink hollow, PSA 10. Really nice piece there for Midwest. And finally, the boxing card. This is probably my favorite. Leaf Q. I used to be a fan of this in Pearl back in the day. And this is from 2015 Leaf Q. Sugar Ray Leonard autographed out of 10. Somebody just SGC slapped it as authenticated. I mean, I don't know why you do that, but... <laughs> I, I mean, honestly, I probably would have thrown this in a PSA one with the... Uh, oh, I can see why, because the thing's streaky. Makes sense. But... Pretty cool piece. I mean, I think these do 180-ish or so. But cool piece. You don't see a whole lot of this. I mean, Brian Gray, love him or hate him out there. 
Man, he had some good stuff back in the day. Sorry to see him go from Leaf, to be honest. He, he came out with some nice products with really, really good autographs and stuff that were hard to get and stuff. I remember his golf, like he had Artie Palmer and stuff. Okay, I'm not going to go to history thing here. That's it for Mail Day, guys. Pretty good. Um, next week, there's just a few things coming in, minus unless I get anything tonight. We will get two boxes of Stadium Club. I think it's called Compact Boxes. I picked up two of them. Uh, just did. They were in a uh, Zoom thing we do every other night, basically. So we'll do a little live opening there. Then there's like four, six, I think seven other cards coming in the mail. All right. Be on the lookout. We got another video coming up from the JJ All Star Show in Louisville, the biggest Louisville show I've seen in probably two years. I, I might even say in Kentucky in two years, even. All right. Guys, stay tuned for that video. It'll be out this week. Other than that, as always, thank you for watching. Catch you guys next time.